Hey all, I got another unboxing for you. Uh, I was rising online and came across this sale on Alan Edmonds and I just could not help myself. So, here we go. So these guys are the Cornwallis in the navy blue. Uh, I don't have a navy blue pair of shoes. So I thought it would be really cool to get uh, something a little different for my collection. Uh, I think they're amazing. I actually went into the store and uh, I tried them on. Obviously they didn't have this color at the store. I am a size 10 E, which is a little bit wider than your normal D width. But they didn't have that size. Uh, I scored these at half off pretty much. Um, so a lot of the sizes were already gone. So they had a 10D, which is a little narrow for me. Uh, so I wanted to try on a 10 and a half D to see if that would fit um, a little bit better. And sure enough, it did. Uh, they did have a 10 triple E, which is like extra, extra wide, but uh, I didn't like how that felt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a shine on these and uh, get them ready to wear. <laughs> Even though it's not gonna be for a while because of this uh, crazy quarantine we got going on right now. I've ordered these back uh, before this whole quarantine started. So I actually had these uh, already for a few days and I've been waiting to, uh, to do the video. And because this is uh, my first pair of navy blue shoes, I also had to get a matching belt. This is a Perry Ellis belt. Um, from Macy's uh, and this now makes my fourth <laughs> belt of the same style from Perry Ellis and now, and now I have all four colors that they offer, a chocolate brown, a black, a medium brown, and then the navy blue. <laughs> I love this belt because it's so simple and the retail price is $45 but I never get this uh, at retail price. At some point, this belt is always on sale. Uh, and like I said, they've offered this belt for a long time. I actually bought my black belt, uh, I wanna say like four, four and a half years ago. And as you can tell, the reason I keep mine, it's because it's still in such great shape, even after so long. And one of the reasons is because it is a full grain cowhide, um, meaning it's a, a higher quality piece of leather. Unlike what you usually find at the, these stores with these type of brands, which a lot of it is gonna be either fake leather or genuine leather. And while genuine leather is real leather, it's still gonna be your lowest quality leather. So that's enough for belts. Let's get this shine started.
Give them a good buff. Once this is done, then I can start applying the uh, multiple layers of wax. touches but there you have it I'm put the laces back on and that'll be it For this shine so one thing I wanted to mention as so I was telling you guys earlier about this belt uh, I noticed something and it's kind of made me very upset see that there this is full leather so this is not real leather and uh, it's the same model that's my older belts and even on the Mesa's website is described as leather. Uh, this says full grain leather. All my other belts are full grain leather. This is not. So I'm gonna send it back to Macy's. I'm just gonna look for a different belt um, uh, that I can match. You know, yeah. <laughs> not even smelling it now, I know that it's not leather. Uh, I had not paid attention, I just kind of went on with the idea that because it's the it, it's the same listing as these other ones that it was going to be leather and like i said even on the mesa's website it says leather um so i you know i took the bait very Ellis, shame on you all right guys uh that's it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh quick little shine quick little unboxing and by the way, uh, these are built on the same last as my Allen Edmund St. John's and I love those. So I'll sure be wearing these once things go back to normal after this quarantine. But for now, let's continue being safe by staying home as much as possible and uh, taking on necessary precautions uh, to avoid the spread of this virus. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.